April is Autism Awareness Month and Tomorrow's Voices being a center that facilitates children with autism. Uh, we have something every year uh, around this month. Um, autism um, affects one in 68 children. And so for the Bermuda community, it's very important that we as an organization who assist these children um, go out into the community and provide them with awareness about what autism is and how it affects the, the community as a whole. And so we make an attempt every year to make sure that we as a charitable organization, go out there, provide them with information about Tomorrow's Voices, information as well about autism, and how the community can help and assist in giving these children the therapy and needs that they have, or can have, in order to give them independence in their futures. Okay, and how have you, how has the public received um, your efforts in helping children with autism? Okay, well, uh, we've been open for seven years and um, in the beginning no one knew about us and pretty much now everyone knows who Tomorrow's Voices is, which is for us a great achievement in knowing that the community is on board and, and wanting to be and learn about children who are uh, have autism or are suffering any uh, sort of developmental disability. Um, the community have um, shown a lot of, of support. Mm -hmm. They are acti actively coming in and seeing the therapy that we do. Uh, we always get emails from parents um, talking about um, their child being affected by autism. We have a waiting list of 20 children and that's been over the last year of parents seeking support from us. So Tomorrow's Voices has definitely been able to become a part of the community and a, a resource for the community and helping, helping children um, who are affected by this disability. What are some misconceptions that people have about children with autism? Well, um, misconceptions um, that they can't learn, that um, a lot of uh, people think that the, because you have autism, um, it stops or affects you from doing anything in your life and that is definitely a misconception. Uh, we look at our children like every other typical child. We treat them the same. The way in which we facilitate them is that we teach them differently. And so when a child comes into Tomorrow's Voices, we assess them to see where, where they are, where the deficits are, where they are um, above and beyond um, learning, and then we plug in the deficits. Um, all of them have individual plans, so every child that comes in here has their own therapeutic program so that we can teach them their needs. It's not, it's not broad with regards to teaching them broadly. We want to look and see where they are struggling and teach them the things that they need independently. So if someone thinks that their child might have autism, what steps would you suggest in them taking to you know, treat it? Well, uh, first of all, I think that they should use the, the agencies that are in Bermuda. You know, there is the um, Child Development Program, which assists parents that are between the ages of birth and, and three, I think. And so a lot of children go there to, be, um, to take the, uh, advantage of their programs for pre-assessment. Definitely speaking to your doctor if you have concerns because they're the first people who see yourselves and your babies and are there on a yearly basis to provide physicals and things like that. So um, communicating about your concerns to your doctors and then reaching out to organizations that support, you know, um, those type of individuals, you know, for Tomorrow's Voices, when we got a new parent or a parent has concerns, we speak to them and um, find out kind of what their concerns are. And then we, if we have a child that we, we provide services to, we assess them. Not every child that comes to, to Tomorrow's Voices has autism. Um, for us, it's not about having, um, not always having the um, diagnosis of autism. It is plugging in deficits that they may struggle with behaviorally or um, being able to understand language, communication skills. So just giving them the support that is necessary to bring their children to the next level, giving them opportunities to get into a classroom setting. Because a number of our children may never be able to go into public school or regular schools and getting them early and providing an inf intervention gives them the opportunity to, to access classrooms altogether.